The very first time I went to my therapist, I said, I have existential dread because I cannot do everything that I want to do with my life. It's crushing me. The pressure is too much. And she said, yes, you can't do everything that you want to do with your life. But the sooner you start accepting that, the sooner you can embrace it and make the best of the life that you do have. Is one life enough to achieve everything that you dream of? Yes, I would say in the past, I just need to work harder. I need to have the best grades, a girl boss career, a family, happy relationship, of course, many friends, maybe even kids, a side hustle, my own home, and who knows what else. I was so focused on the what and so little on the why and how of things. For example, my how could be, well, I will be stressed every single day trying to keep up with all of these things that I'm trying to bring into reality. And the why could be, maybe this is how everybody has lived before me and I am just modeling their life based on what I think a successful life should look like. The problem with focusing on what you want is that the goalpost is always moving. See, people in the past had much less. We have things that they could only dream about. Food, water from the tap, shelter, at least the ones of us that are lucky. Unfortunately, there's many unlucky ones. But for those of us that do have these things, the goalpost has moved. Now we want more, 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 more. And still the how and why fade into the background. But what does this have to do with having a certain amount of time and existential dread? Well, let's say this is you. You are a little star. Here you are. And you can decide where you want to shine and how you want to shine, but not for how long. You can shine in all directions, but not shine very much from either of them. So looking at you from here, it's not going to be very bright. Or you can shine specifically more in this direction and less in these directions. From here, I see much more of you and maybe I am a flower that grows underneath your light. Now let's say that here is a certain aspect of your life. Love, career, hobbies, other things you want to do, some miscellaneous things you want to pursue. If you're shining in all of these directions, you're not going to get very much out of any of them. But let's say you decide to shine like this and this is your relationship and this is your career and everything is like on the other drawing. Well, your relationship is going to flourish in a universe where we have infinite amount of time to shine. Probably this would be the best decision. If you have an infinite amount of time to shine in all directions, at a certain point, enough will be enough everywhere. But minimalism is accepting that this is reality. There is a limit, physical limit, to what we can do and have in life. And the sooner we embrace it, the sooner we can make the best of what is important to us. So minimalism is not about less. It's about less, but better. Decluttering my life physically was definitely the first step to understanding this. It's definitely not a necessary step. There are other ways to get there, but it is something very important that opened up time in my life for me to think. And what I thought about were my mental desires, the desire to have a successful career or to have a family or to have a house or to have many friends and understanding what that really means for me. Can I really keep up with that many friends? Do I really want to work that hard? Do I really want to take care of a whole house, which means so much work? I realized, no, I don't want to do that. I really want to describe how this felt for me because I've never had what feels like less in my life less money, less physical items, less dreams, less pressure, to be honest, but I've never felt like I had more. You see, we always look to the horizon for what we are missing and we miss everything that is right in front of us. We forget that we are hairless apes on a flying rock 
hurling through the universe and the mere fact of our existence is an absolute miracle. We forget how incredible it is to hear things, to see things, to smell things. Just ask any person who cannot do even one of these things and you will find them to be impossibly sad over what they are missing because this is already so, so much. Now, this is a mindset that I could truly internalize and live with. You could have one friend that is a good friend that you are walking through life with, sharing things and emotions, and it is a great relationship, and that can be enough. It's enough to have one hobby that you really enjoy and that you're impossibly good at, and you get lost in the flow and the passion of performing it. It is also enough to have several hobbies that you're just a little bit good at, but you are trying the different flavors of life, so you don't mind. It is a new way of seeing things. One really important thing that we cannot forget is that letting go of these what's, the perfect career, the family, the relationship, many friends, does not let go of the why. There is still an underlying need that was behind this specific desire. And according to my therapist, there are four psychological needs, the need for security, the need for control, for love and acceptance, and for connection. For example, if you want to have a lot of friends, maybe you have a need for love and acceptance. Maybe if you want to have the best grades ever, you have a need for control of your life, or you have a need to feel accepted for who you are, for being a successful person. And you may let go of the what, you may let go of needing to have the best career, but if you don't let go of the why, there is a certain danger that you will fall into a different one. So that is why with our newfound time on purpose, we can start to let go of the underlying desire so that we can discover what is truly underneath it, what do we really want. And the great thing about this is that whatever is underneath it is going to be purely yours, not a fabrication of society or the things you have experienced, but something completely new that you are going to bring into the world, even if it's just your unique human experience lived on your terms and by your true desires. And this is as close as we can get to our real core, just living our unique human experience, our own creative expression. And that is enough. That is enough. Hello universe, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment because I really need it for the algorithm. If you want similar videos to this, I would love to hear your thoughts on it and I will see you very, very soon.